Daryl, congratulations. Another trophy to add to your collection this year. And, and it, it, it possibly, at, at points, it looked like it was going to go to penalties, but a, a great way to win it as well. Yeah, um, well, I'd like to be a bit more comfortable. You know, it was an early last five, ten minutes. But uh, no, fantastic. Fantastic way to win it. I thought it was, uh, it, was, it was a decent game of football, a good spectacle, great crowd, great atmosphere. And, you know, I thought probably we, we deserved it at the end, but it was, a, it was a no mean and easy game. And it had to be that man, Richie Towell, again. I think it was his 28th goal this year and I think it's 29th 29th goal yeah and it was and like he's just been a, a phenomenal player for Dundalk these last three years he's, he's just so he's so efficient in the box you're always so confident in the score yeah. you know he was, he was saying to me just give me a chance and I'll score and that's what he done so fantastic delighted for him and for yourself it just adds to what was another brilliant, a, a, another brilliant season a double win and h- how have you personally found this this year in general oh, ah yeah, it's, it's been great you know obviously I think the team has improved from last year you know, we've obviously we're a bit further ahead in the league, and obviously winning the cup too, which is which is great. You know, we've we've a stronger squad, and we've um, we've pushed on really. Now next year, I suppose we be, be Europe will be the big one as well, as long with uh, keeping keeping going in the league and cup competitions domestically. You're talking about next year. Will you be at Dundalk for for next year as it stands? If I'm in Ireland, I will be. I I, I don't know what story is at the moment. To be honest, I'm very relaxed. I'm at a fantastic club at Dundalk, so I'm, I'm not worried in any way, shape, or form. It's such a relief now that like it's finally over and you finally get a chance to relax because you've literally played every game you could have played. Yeah, I suppose. No, but look, I want to play every game. Yeah. Every footballer does. No one wants to be rested, taking out the team. So you know, I'd be giving out if I wasn't playing. So I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to be giving out when I'm playing. But but I, mean, I mean, the team have had like they've been in the semi-final of the League Cup, the final of the FAI Cup. They've won the league with with a high intensity. I mean, the, every game you could have played, you have played. Yeah, which, ah, that's good too, you know. And I think you know that's that's part down to the squad we have, you know. There's, like even the three lads came on today Stevie was excellent really controlled the game and Mountain Eel and Killers gave us something different when the lads, lads were tiring gave us a new fresh option and like that's been that's been the case all season subs have come on and really made an impact in the game so you know that's, that's, the, that's the point you have a good squad and that's why it's there Alright thank you very Gary Rogers, a clean sheet. You've won the FBI Cup. You've won the league. It could not have been a, a better end to the season. No, it's been a terrific end to the season. I think uh, it's certainly been nice on the cake to go and uh, achieve that double. It's good. The, the goal for the season was to, to get the back-to-back titles, and we did that. And now, when the opportunity arises to go and win the cup, you know it's fantastic and delight for everyone involved and everyone at the club. And it, it, it was it, it probably for well, for the neutral anyway. It wasn't a, a brilliant game to watch, but Cork just they seemed to they defended everything that Dundalk had. But in the end, it just came down to for that man Richie Dowell again yeah look Richie's been terrific all season he's been on fire um, look, it, it, it's been brilliant for him to get the winner um, I suppose his play all season the goals that he's got all season maybe you know, he deserved that goal in, in the cup final and uh, 29 goals this season for him I mean it, Dave McMillan would only dream of scoring uh, as many as that I think anyone would only dream of scoring 29 <laughs> goals no matter where you're playing you know, to score 29 goals from midfield it's, it's a phenomenal achievement and, and deserves all the recognition he gets for it and for yourself you've, you've come into this club where there was such an expectation then when you when you came in and now it, the, the club have proven themselves to, to you know, like good teams win the league, great teams retain it. They've, they've proven themselves to be one of the, the best league of Ireland teams possibly of all time. Well, look, that remains to be seen, but it's certainly a fantastic achievement by the whole group. And you know, I was delighted to, to, to obviously join the team this year and um, off the back of a league win last year, and you know to go and retain it, which was the main objective for the season, and then you know to go and win the cup is very special. It's a fantastic achievement. And an awful lot is made of it. But when you the last the last time, when you won the league with Sligo, Dundalk were playing in the relegation playoff, and now they're they the back to back champions. Yeah, I remember it. Like, and that just goes to show the, the the league and you know the way things can go and how you know you have to kind of you have to do things right on and off the pitch and it, you know you're never too far away from that situation. And thankfully, you know the club seem to have um, got things together and everything is running very well and they're building on the success and hopefully we maintain it. All right, thank you very. Uh, commiserations, it's, it's a hard way to, to lose in, in extra time. What are the, the emotions like right now? I suppose it's very raw and look, I've just come out of a dressing room there, everyone's devastated like um, but you know it's just one of those things, that's football, that's cup finals, there's a winner and there's a loser and it was a very, it was nip and tuck for a lot of the cup finals so um, it's just a case of now coming back and picking ourselves up next year and, and making sure we come back better than ever It was a, a very sort of a typical cup final with both teams, both teams getting the chances but also both teams really uh, sniffing each other out and basically stopping 
all the, the, the big chances that would, have, that would have arisen. Yeah, that's it. I think you know you, you probably saw a lot of how close the two teams are matched out there. Um, a lot of the game was cancelling each other out. So, um, you know, it's, it's difficult to take. It's never nice to lose an extra time or whatever for the 90 minutes, probably particularly. It was very, very close. But um, as I say, it's just a case now where we go back um, and over the next while we'll analyse it and see where we can get better. There are positives to be taken from this whole year, though. The second in the league again and, and a cup final. It, it, it has been, by some standards, especially when you look at court team maybe two or three years ago, it's been quite a good season. Yeah, I suppose, look, at that's no consolation now, but you, you, you're right in that there was there was positives to take. Um, as I say, it's just about getting, making the next step now and what we have to do to make that next step. And I suppose, you know, as I've said, we've a lot of determined people in that dressing room between management and players and staff, and no doubt that we'll come back better than ever next year. John has come in for some criticism this year, but he has still he still had this team set up in a way that, that has led to them finishing second and very much deservingly because Dundalk's team have been, uh, they, they've shown a huge amount of quality, but this core team deservedly been one of the top teams in the country. No doubt about it. I mean, we have some absolute quality footballers in that, in, inside there, so um, we, we know how good we are and how good we can be, and obviously now it's just about getting our heads down again and working hard and making sure when we come back in pre-season that we're ready to go again next year. All right, thank you very much. Gainer, it's um, it's always tough to, to lose in these sort of matches, and it, 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 at one point it looked like it was definitely going to go to penalties. Uh, I, I think like we were we were exhausted after the 90 minutes, and um, if you look at our team, like we have a lot of older heads, and I think where our legs were started to go, like uh, I was so tired. Next time, a lot of, a lot of lads were the same. Like Dundalk were fit, and um, to be fair, Dundalk play beautiful football. And we did a lot of our work trying to stop them from playing, so I think we tired a lot quicker. But it was a great game for the league. I'm sure a lot of people watched it at home and stuff. And obviously the the crowd was a big crowd, so yeah, it's a, a bit of a pill to swallow, but I'll, uh, I'll get over it. And you, you've already won one of these here before, and uh, yeah. you've, you've probably become accustomed to it, especially being at a club like Sligo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I won one with Sligo, and um, that was uh, yeah, that was brilliant. Obviously, I only played 20, 25 minutes in that game, but to, to get the full experience today, the build up all week knowing you're playing and to, um, to work your hardest like I think not one of us left anything on that pitch today I think every single person even the lads that came on worked and worked their hardest and um, it's such a contrast to the two uh, feelings obviously I'm uh, dejected now but um, looking back on it I think we defended very very well as a team we stopped them from doing a lot of their, their good stuff like that they normally do and um, as it shows all our games this year with them have been very very close and it was always going to be 1-0 or 2-1 so it's unlucky that we didn't nick a goal but actually it was always going to be next year. I think we'd push them harder next year. You, miss, you, you, you would admit yourself probably that, that Dundalk were deserving league champions um, and they, but Cork were very much deserving of being in, that, in the, that second place and very much of being one of the top clubs in Ireland this year. We nearly lost second place. We had to beat Bowes last game of the season so I think um, if you look at our first two series of games we were very, very good and very, very solid and I think um, we had some very, very poor results in the last series of games and I think if we had a, kept the form that we did at the end of last season I think we won six or seven games in a row six games in a row like and um, I think if we had done that this year it would have been a different story because Dundalk obviously had a few slip ups but we were losing terrible games this year towards the end of the season uh, obviously I don't know what, what was wrong with us then but we'll have to uh, resolve that next year if we're going to compete but you have to admit that even in comparison to last year Dundalk slip ups were an awful lot less they've kept the same squad as last year and they've improved with the likes of Ronan Finn and stuff like Ronan Finn for me is one of the best midfielders in the league and um, he adds a bit of uh, drive in their midfield like he did very well today and um, yeah they're adding and adding and adding hopefully like we can add players that are capable of competing with them next year because uh, obviously with the manager we have second's not good enough like we've finished second there in the cup and second in the league and we wanted to improve on last year in the cups we did but we'd like to we'd like to push them harder next year you mentioned that there's that second isn't good enough but there was a point a couple of years ago where it looked like there might not have even been a court city to play at at, at, at one point, and they they were in the first division for a while, and then it, it, like it, there has been a, a steady progression, and it has there has it has been a positive last few years for for City. I think in the dressing room after the Dundalk game last year when we lost the league, um, I think as a group we all really really wanted to push them a lot harder this year, and I think we failed in that. Eleven points is far too much to to, to claw back, like so. Yeah, it's it's good to finish second, but it would have been nicer to, to kind of have the same result as last year. Having a chance to win it on the last day of the season would have been good, but um, I'm sure we'll have a proper go with it next year. All right, thank you.
Uh, congratulations, the FBI Cup, and, and, and of course, I didn't get to personally congratulate you, the league as well. What a season. Yeah, we're delighted. Uh, you know, we're delighted. It's a great occasion. People at Dundalk have been magnificent, and uh, it's a fantastic to win it like that. You know, these things can go either way, so it's great to win it. But it's very rare a team come into the league and are, are so. Um, I, I know you're not a particular fan of the word dominate, but it's so dominant um, and win, win the league by 11 points, go win the FBI Cup, and basically like, do it all. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, you know, it was, it was it's just an amazing season, you know. We, you had to set the start of the season right, you're going to win the President's Cup and then you're going to win the league by 11 points and then win the FA Cup. You wouldn't have believed it, like it wasn't beyond what you could have planned for, you know, so it's great to do it like that. And uh, finally, um, when you came into Dundalk, uh, they had just obviously, everyone knows they had just come out of a relegation playoff. It, it, I'm sure you couldn't have envisioned that with, within such a short space of time they would be the, the, the very much the team to beat the best team in the country. One of the, possibly one of the best League of Ireland teams ever. Well, it's, thank you very much. And you know, we always feel that there's room for improvement. And the day you don't feel that is the day you're going to regress. And we have to look to strive to progress and get better. All right, thank you, David. Congratulations. The FAI Cup, the league, it's all gone right for you this year. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a brilliant season. I think. Uh, you know, the league couldn't have really gone any better to win it with three games to spare. And uh, today was obviously it was a scrappy enough game, I think. A um, few chances, really. But I think in extra time, we, we showed our quality. And thankfully, Richie again is the man to come up with the goal. Of course, last year, um, the team were very successful and played very good football. But for yourself, it, would have been, it wouldn't have been as gratifying as, as this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I put, obviously was on the bench a lot last year. and Although I had a good, contri yeah, good contribution. And yeah, an injury at the end of the season. And uh, missed the, the big games at the very in so to be fit and be playing this year it's, it's been brilliant and uh, to be a part of the team you know we've scored more goals than any other team in the league and again tonight like as I said it's, it was difficult tonight but uh, to just get over the line again just shows the quality that we have Man, in fairness you talk about scoring loads of goals you, you, you've done okay for yourself but Richie that's that's something else I mean you could only ever dream of scoring 30, almost 30 goals in a season yeah, it's, been, it's been absolutely phenomenal for him you know he works so hard you know behind the scenes and he's getting rich rewards for it and uh, you know he fully deserves it and to get yeah, I think 29 goals he has in all competitions it's, it's, it's phenomenal yeah I think I'm pretty jealous of that I have yeah. to say um, but it's not only that he gets it's, he gets it in the big games as well you know it's no surprise that he's got the winner there you know because his fitness he gets into the box he breaks into the box and, and whatever it was you know extra time you know it's uh, it's great credit to himself and, and to everybody I think we showed next time we were the fitter team and we were the stronger team and you know they had a few players going down with cramp and stuff and we just kept going and kept pushing and we looked like the ones to score next time and thankfully we did and finally you've won the league you've retained the league you've won the FAI Cup what else is there that Dundalk can do at this point I think um, you know we're obviously disappointed to go out to bat in Europe and I think that's the big challenge for us now next year obviously we'll be looking to retain everything we can but um, Europe will be the one that uh, everyone will be after and you know hopefully if we get a kind of draw we can go a little bit further on that and I think this team's capable of that if we can keep one or two players um, you know I think we are we are well able to do it Alright thank you Richie Tell this year could not have gone any better for you 29 goals from midfield the league by 11 points the FAI Cup and I believe you've got a, a new arrival as well in your family on the way as well yeah if, if someone had said this to me at the start of the year I would have said you imagine you know, um, 29 goals and to, to play the way we have throughout the whole season has been unbelievable you know um, not just the starting 11 the subs that come on uh, they've been unbelievable everybody and obviously to, to, to cap it all off with, with the winner in the final is magical I think that any striker in the world would be happy with 29 goals in the season from central midfield that's something else yeah it's um, it's something that I love doing I love getting forward I love, I love trying to score goals I do um, I love trying to get people off their seat um, a bit of enjoyment in the game um, there's a lot of negativity in it with people, people camping the bus and things like that so uh, when you have a team like us that play expansion of football, it's, it's great to see. And when, when Stephen came in, you know, you were playing at Bluebell when he signed his contract, and you had just come home, and you, like, it, 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 you looked like it, 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 you, one couldn't have imagined that in, in three years you'd be possibly one of the most talked about, one of the, one of the most talked about sports people in Ireland. Yeah, it's, as I said, it's it's magical from from where we were to where we are now is, is a million miles away, um, and all for the better, you know. And I think the gaffer has to take major credit for that. Um, all the boys have bought into what he and what Graham Bourne said. Um, 
So when you when you have a, a recipe like that of hard work, determination, and commitment, then um, you can go a long way in the game. And you've 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 stayed in Dundalk for these very successful years, despite even after the first year when when you didn't actually win the league, um, you you probably could have gone over to across the water if you wanted to. But you've stayed and you've helped make Dundalk one of the possibly one of the greatest league of Ireland teams of all time. Yeah, to be fair, I had a few offers to go over, but it just didn't suit me. I had a few offers to go over uh, just in the summer there as well. Um, obviously, I have a baby now coming in in a, in a short time, so that's something that I'm, I'm really excited about as well. It's a, it's a new chapter in my life for me and my girlfriend, so uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, we can celebrate tonight in style and uh, we can uh, celebrate all week, actually. You mentioned that it must be, as a, as a, as a person, not even sporting-wise, it must be the best year of your entire life. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think everything that's going on um, with my career, it's been it's been unbelievable. Um, when the double, they've actually won four trophies this year, you know, which is which is a, an incredible achievement. Um, and then my personal life as well, having a baby, and uh, me and me and my girlfriend are buying a house now uh, in the process of that. So uh, it's just been been an unbelievable year, and uh, I hope next year can be as good. You mentioned buying a house, and you mentioned next year. Does that does that lead us to believe that you will be most definitely involved in Dock next year? You see him, he's the biggest spoof for everything. He's his guard. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's down to Dundalk now, you know. They they know how, how committed I am to, to, to stay with them. Um, so I just need to see a bit of commitment from them. Obviously, there's probably going to be a bit of talk me going here, there and everywhere. But if the move isn't right for me, it won't happen, you know. Uh, I'm not one of these people that just want to, oh, I, I play in England. I'm not into that, you know. Yeah. Uh, so you've had the experience already. Yeah, I've, play, I've played there and done it. And to be fair, it's, it's not, it's not what, <laughs> what it lives up to be, you know. Um, I'm happy back here playing the football in my life, so uh, why would I want to live? All right, thank you.